there's a feature in your Google account called inactive account manager that may be worth setting up especially if you have a lot of data in your Google account whether it's data in emails or uh, Google Docs or Google Drive whether it's a YouTube account uh, etc etc you may very well want someone to be able to get access to that data in the event that you are no longer able to access it so I'm going to show you the inactive account manager I'm actually going to walk through setting it up from one of my Gmail accounts So where is it? It's under my account uh, dot Google. So simply go to you know log into your Google account and go to my account dot Google dot com. You can get to it right here. Click on your name right here, and you say manage your Google account. It'll take you to my Google account, uh, my account dot Google dot com. Now once you're in here, go to let's see. I'm pretty sure it's data and privacy. It's down near the bottom. It's down here in the right hand column. Let me find it. Plan what happens. It's actually in the middle. Plan what happens to your data right here. Make a plan for your digital legacy. I'm going to click on that. Now, plan what happens in the event that you're not, your account's inactive and you want uh, to share it with someone you trust or ask Google to delete it. So I'm going to hit start. Step one, number one is decide what is the trigger. What is the amount of inactivity that you want to have set on your account so in the event uh, someone you're not able to get to it, someone can. So I'm going to change that from three months. So for me, I'm going to change it to uh, 12 months. Hit save. That's what I'm going to do. Now, Google wants to contact me first to make sure this is my account. Add a phone number. I'm going to use this number right here my cell phone number in 12 months if I'm not using this account this is the first step that Google is going to use is going to want to contact me via text message and alert me to my accounts inactive and that said they'll contact me on this email address that is the email address of the account I'm working on and that email address is there and it's selected so go back The right phone number the right email address now I'm gonna do next choose who to notify and what to share so let me add a person I'm gonna add Rebecca Burris and what I want to share with her I could share I could select all I don't need Android, I don't need access log, I don't need Arch and Culture, I don't need Blogger, I don't need stuff in Chrome, Crisis User Reports, don't need that, Data Share for Research, Fit, I don't need Cloud Search, I don't need Help, I'm going to get rid of the stuff I don't need, I don't need books, I don't need Play, I don't need Movies, I don't need Play Store, I don't need Shopping, I don't need Translator, I don't need market space home app I'm not using keep don't need news pinpoint better leave purchases I don't know question hub reminders search that's it leave the rest of it hit next primarily what I wanted to get access to in the case that they want it is my contacts and my mail that's what primarily but I'm gonna leave the rest of it hit next and I'll put her phone number And so they have her phone number and they have her email address. Now I could add another person. I can have add up to 10 people and I could let 10 people know about it. Ideally, for in a personal world for myself, I might want to include my wife and or one or two of my children. So I could set up an auto reply. After a year, 
I could set up an auto reply so that it tells anybody who emails me that I'm not using this account. So let me go to next. Now I decide if your inactive account should be deleted. A after your Google account becomes inactive, should we also delete it and all of its content? If you decide to allow someone to download your content, they have three months to do so. If you choose to delete your Google account, this will include your monthly shared data, your YouTube videos, or blogs on Blogger. Uh, should we delete your Google account if it becomes active? Now, I, I could leave, turn that on and 15 months, 12 plus 3, it's going to get deleted. I'm going to leave that off. I don't want to turn that on just now. And then I'm going to review the plan. And now I set up my inactive account manager to do this. My account will be considered inactive after 12 months. Google will notify one of my contacts. Your, account, your inactive account will not be deleted. You will receive email reminders that inactive account manager is turned on. Confirm the plan. So I've turned on my inactive account manager. Again, the purpose for me was if, if one year goes by and I don't use this account, and I use this account on a monthly basis, if one year goes by and I don't use this account, Google is going to alert my wife about it and let my wife get access to my contacts my mail and a bunch of other stuff but I also told Google do not delete my account after it's been active I may very well decide to change my mind later on but today I don't want to turn that on I recommend that you use the inactive account manager if you are actively using your Google account and this is only for Gmail this by the way is not for Google workspace you cannot use inactive account manager for Google workspace but if you're using Gmail and you're using it deliberately on a regular basis and you don't want to lose your contacts, your email, your YouTube videos, etc., etc., I recommend you turn on Inactive Account Manager so that you can manage what happens with your account slash your data in the, um, um, in, in the chance that you are no longer accessing it yourself. I'm Teddy, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach. I hope this is helpful for you.